Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are back again and we are ready to die because we unlocked the deleted and we're probably going to die as him. But uh, yeah, I don't exactly know how we're going to play out the whole... Okay, what? Okay, I was a bit scared then. <laughs> uh, I don't exactly know how we're going to play out the whole um, idea of all the different forms that this guy has. Of course, we're just going to go with Happy 99 to start. Um... Unfortunately, apparently my uh, completion marks are still there for some reason. I don't know. They're not there on the new save file. I don't even know if there's unlocks for this guy. Either way, yeah. We might die as this guy. He's a fun fella, but goddamn is he difficult um, and random and destructive. But I do love him. Uh, but yeah, we unlocked him last time by going to an error room. So we can actually go and see what we can get done here. Um, oh no, we're going to lose the blood bombs we don't have. Uh, that's really good. Damage in every boss kill, we spawn two dimes. That's actually fantastic. And the downside doesn't mean anything for us right now. Uh, as for the question of the day, as for the question of the day, um, what's something like that's generally a kind thing that you try to do as much as possible like even if it's just holding the door for someone what's 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 sort of your go-to thing if you're in a situation where you can spread some kindness or anything of the like what's what sort of your go-to in that scenario oh my god i tend to just this isn't sort of like for everyone because it just depends on the situation but i tend to try if i can to um Dude, I cannot hit this ghost to save my life. Um, I tend to just try as much as possible to, like, hear people out that need hearing out. So, of, a lot of people um, just have the capacity and need... Oh, bloody hell. Um, the capacity and need to vent a lot or, like, just to talk over something that they're going through. Um, and for quite a long time now, I've sort of always been that friend in my friend group. I don't sort of really know how I defaulted to it. Considering as well, like, how much I generally talk, it's a bit of a weird role for me to fall into. Because you'd think that I'd just talk too much for it to, uh, for it to be the sort of thing I'd do. But yeah, um, I kind of defaulted to that role quite a lot with a lot of, a lot of friendships that I'm in. Um, either now or before. Uh, I think Secret Room's here. I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, it is. This is likely to be slightly more lucrative, so I'm gonna go for this. Eh, maybe. It might it might have been, it might not. Damn it! The special eyed keepers are like not doing well for me right now. Um I don't need to complete the rest of this floor, but I want to. Um I'm a little worried. We have extra damage here, so it shouldn't be too bad, but these little jumper dudes on the first floor are particularly difficult. Um I'm going to try and kill you far away from the door. Uh, not far away from the door. Just... Damn it, I was going to try and push this to here because I'm, I'm thinking that might be secret room. In fact, I'm going to try it. Damn it, it wasn't anyways. Poo you, game. Poo you. I'm going to check the, um, check the old item room to see if we have anything going on soul heart wise. And we do. Lovely. Um, and we're going to get gone. Right, okay, not too bad so far. We're going to be using Bit Flip a, a, a hell of a lot here, so we'll see how that goes. Um, nice. There's our double dime drop. I kind of forgot that we were going to get that, I'll be honest. Uh, that's really good. And then spawn pickups. Okay, that's pretty good. Right, let's go and see what the stamp is when it's uh, flipped. Each boss kill spawn three faceless. Each room get a temp. Nah, I don't think any of that's super necessary for us. We don't need to buy every deleted item, but I'm gonna try and take a lot of corrupted items here. The deleted is fun for that reason, and so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. But yeah, if we if we tab here, um, oh hello, we got pride. Uh, okay, so our completion mark in this regard isn't filled. Look, so that's fine. A pride sometimes breaks, but we'll keep them along with us anyways. But uh, someone actually made a very good suggestion that the mod that reworks uh, enemies and bosses might be the thing that breaks pride. So if he breaks again, it might be because he's trying, he's attempting to use an attack that the familiar version of him, the trinket version of him, doesn't have. So sometimes he'll just kind of get stuck at the door. There you go, like that. And someone suggested it could be because of that mod, which makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, I think that's probably the correct assumption in what's going on, so... Thank you for sussing that out, if that is the cause. And 
hopefully the Ipecac developers can maybe work on that in the future. They've got much bigger fish to fry right now, so I'm not going to put that pressure on them at all. Um, if, if for those of you that didn't know, I haven't really spoken about it all that much, but it is a it is sort of public information at the minute, so it's not like I can't speak about it. Um, if the CAC team are working on um, their, I think it's 2.2 update, I think it's called, um, that's actually kind of a massive overhaul of the mod, pretty much. Um, like, they're rebalancing a bunch of things, adding a bunch of new things, respriting things. There's a lot of stuff coming to Ipecac. I think they're, I think they've recoded some things as well to hopefully reduce lag. I, I can't confirm on that, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the workings of the mod right now. So, uh, good stuff to look forward to, and I really hope that with the most recent patch to Isaac reducing lag in general, people will give it another attempt, because I think the, the only reason people haven't used Ipecac in the past is because, oh my god, we got a rainbow chest, um, has been because um, it can cause additional lag sometimes. Uh, kind of weird to get a haunted chest before you have one unlocked, but hey-ho. Right. Um, these chests are still broken, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not going to open that. Um... Get the store whistle, which is actually really, really good, especially when we've got money coming in all the time. So I'm just going to buy that as it is. Got a range down there. And amnesia. Lovely. And a HP up. Okay, I'll take my HP up. I'm actually going to open this as well. And we got a dice shard, which I also think we don't have unlocked. <laughs> There's a, a lot of weird things going on with chests where that can happen. It's a little bizarre, but I'll, I, I'll accept it. But yeah, I think Pride just breaks when he tries to use another attack. But I like to keep him, uh, keep it as a trinket because it does give us multicolored tears, and I, I really do like that. It's <laughs> some um, never named when we were talking about um, the Pride pin or the Pride badge before. It's slightly peculiar theming wise, and this is this is purely coincidental um, and like not. Not done on purpose at all, so yeah, I mean no ill will by this, but it is kind of funny that they made a, a like a LGBT or gay pride um, flag for the pride um, badge for the trinket that spawns pride as a mini boss to help you, but also the pride mini boss is a sin, <laughs> so it's kind of like um, <laughs> the message here is a little bit skewed. <laughs> A little bit skewed. I, like, it's all in good faith, and I, I, I get the, I get the um, intentions behind the action. But the, if you look too deeply into the, uh, into the story of it, it is, gets a little messy. Gets a little messy. Okay, this, this fella is being a pain in my ass. Oh, for God's sake, can you stop jumping in front of that one? Thank you, Mr. Jumpy Dumpy. What am I looking for right now? The item room, I think. Holy shit, he went right right down the center there. Oh god. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using the whistle yet, I want to find a secret room. Amnesia's definitely going to make that difficult. But, um, yeah, the whistle, really good in secret rooms. And devil deals too. Oh, for fuck's sake, you stupid little flies. Dun, dun. Like, Sprite, you could be doing something right now. You could be helping out. Physical protection. Ooh, now that's something I will take instead of pride. It's actually going to do some good. Oh, that's cute. You're you and that's okay. I like that. That is cute. Right, hopefully we can get some good items going here. Yeah, I do... I do have a lot of love for the deleted, and so do you guys too. The deleted videos always do really, really well. Um, unfortunately, Isaac has dropped off on YouTube quite massively over the last like month or two. Um, like not just on my channel, on like everyone's channel, Isaac is just dying. Um, I'm not sure if it's because it's January and January like views on YouTube are just bad. Uh, shoot the whoop, that's one that will uh, bit flip. 
Each boss kill gets sulfur. Instead of dying, once get bombs. First hit each room. Now nah, we'll um, re-roll that into Gemini. Upon going to the next floor, use two of diamonds. Um, 76 that's really bad. That could be horrendously bad. But the positives are so good that I'm going to try it. It's only one random enemy, so it might not be too bad. Uh, I'm, I'm completely unsure as to where Secret Room might be here. The, the large rooms are really throwing me off. Really throwing me off. Um... I fucking hate large rooms for finding secret rooms. It's so tough. I, I legitimately have absolutely no idea where one might be. I'm going to try here. Balls. Bloody large rooms. I'm just going to forget about it this floor. I can't be asked. Let's just use this here and see what happens. Oh, we don't even have a key. Stupid. I kind of forgot that you need a key to open that. Okay, for some reason... Okay, just, 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 just a hot second. Does that not look like a heart on this little bin thing here? Why is it stunning things? I thought it was gonna charm the dude. Like it looks like a, it looks like a heart, right? It's not just me. Okay, this has really caused a lot of issues here, hasn't it? That was a bad enemy to get on our boss. Die, fiendish devils. That's good, we'll take that. I'm just gonna leave, I want angel deals, I think. Hi Priest, this is good for the boss. We're also up to 81 cent now. Lovely. We need more keys to go without whistle. We definitely need more damage. Damage is something we are a little bit lacking on right now. It's not bad, but with, with us spawning random enemies and it could be an enemy from any floor, basically every room or almost every room, it's going to cause some issues. Okay, now that, that was a lot of HP to get there. Thank you for that. Yeah, a lot of rooms it might spawn some smaller enemies, but there is chances of it spawning some worse ones. And it can spawn enemies like Sternies and stuff in rooms that they shouldn't be in, which could cause a lot of issues. Or Bishops, stuff like that. There's a lot of potentially problematic uh, enemies it could spawn. That was kind of one of them. Um... Have we seen where Secret Room could be yet? No, we have not. Okay, I do not like this. These teal enemies are fun, but goddamn can they cause issues. It's also going to be hard sometimes to know what the, um, what the, the spawned enemy is. Sometimes it's going to be hard to tell. I'm pretty sure this is Secret Room here, so I'm going to try it. It is good. Um, I'm gonna take a spicy key here. I don't know what this does. Confessional. Ugh. Um. Right. Let's use this. Open up our shop. Unfortunately, I can't see what the fuck's here. But I'll buy it. It's a bomb. Ugh. You weren't very useful, were you, sir? Not at all. Not at all. Haha, <laughs> luckily I don't have any active charge. You, you don't get anything here out of me. Okay, I think the, the random enemy in this room was that corn mine, which for some reason classes as an enemy. That's kind of funny. This is a pretty good setup we got going here, though, I think. Not too happy about the prospects of this room. This room seems hellish. Luckily we have okay range. It's not great range, I'll be honest. I think the, uh, the, the, the black worm there is the outlier here. A little bit hard to kill. 
good. Ah, I walked right into it, bugger. Mum's eye. Probably don't care about that too much. Um, on hit gain, um, whatever that is. On hit spawn 10 more. Okay, that seems pretty good. I don't know how I got out of that without being hit, but I am very grateful for the fact. Unfortunately, we got one of these buffer boys, which honestly a nightmare fuel. These champions, like that, that one, the actual core champion went down real fast. This guy will have 1 billion HP. Same with this dude as well. Well, lots of extra bombs is rather nice. We're also lobbing random rocks at enemies, which is kind of interesting. Like, look how much health this guy has. Come on now. It's just... It's obscene, my good sir. It's obscene. Oh, also, I just realized we can do a lot of donating on this run. Um... On death, lose a random item. Each shop spawn 13 random coins. On bomb, use whatever that is. I don't know. Let's just take it. Uh, we'll definitely buy that too. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Get up to 30. Remember, it's going to double on next floor, and we're going to get two dimes. So we're going to be at 100 by the end of this floor. Regar uh, by, by the start of next floor, sorry, regardless. That was close. So far, I'm having a really fun time with this run. This is one that's not gotten too out of hand yet, but could. It's definitely got some problematic tendencies. Dude, how is this thing not dead yet? Wow. A little worm, dude. That just, just wouldn't bother dying, would he? Okay, we need more... Something that we're desperately in need of right now is more keys. We are really light on keys. And keys are the lifeblood of our active items, so... We can't spend the money that we have without it. But now, we can use bombs for combat, like... A lot. Oh, hello. Like, every time we get hit, we get 10 bombs, so... Bombs for combat is definitely the way to go for us here. There's our double dime. That's actually something I'm just going to take. I want the damage. Um, and then we're just going to go here. Random enemy. Which one are you? Okay, not a bad one. We did get two keys there. Lovely. We'll check this out. Oh, both of those are incredible. That's a reflected lead pencil too. I don't even know if having two lead pencils does anything, but I'm going to try it. Those are really, really good grabs for us here. Oh, fuck. We got one of these guys. That's a bad enemy to get for us, really. But they don't have boss armor, so... Well, sorry, they, they do have boss armor. They have boss health, so... They can be killed really, really easily with bombs. Definitely need a bit more health to keep us going here. Uh, I'm going to keep my keys, though. Yeah, lead pencil plus the uh, ram's head puts us in a really good spot damage-wise, I think. I think we, we should be dandy for most of the run now. Stat-wise, that is, and we're getting keys like crazy. I love that. Oh, no way. Each one of these motherfuckers is going to spawn... A fucking dime. Oh, lordy lord. That's amazing. Okay, so we have unlimited money this floor. We'll, uh, we'll check our donation machine. See if we can donate any more here. You watch us get a restock machine. Even still, though, restock machine's pretty good because we can buy a bunch of shit. Let's just get all that out of the way of the door. Awesome. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty great. I like that. 
The random enemies haven't been so bad yet. We haven't had any that are drastically terrible for us. Right, what we got in here? Um, 48, on 48 kills, 99% chance to spawn 11 troll bombs. That's pretty bad. Spawn 7 double hearts, each boss kill. Actually, that's not very good. I'm not that interested in that. Excuse me. This random enemy is uh, stuck behind here. Gonna leave you where you lay. Secret room. Do we have a bead on that yet? I'm just gonna quickly go and check. I don't think it is here. No, it's not. Had to check it. We don't know where secret room is just yet. We do have this high priestess for our next boss, which I should definitely use. I kind of forgot about that last floor. I like the way it likes just spawning us troll bombs as well. This wasn't part of the deal game. Like in this room, I have no idea what the random enemy is, or even if there is one. This this is a very cohesive grouping of enemies. Check this. Check this. Okay. Probably should blow up all the mushrooms to see what we can get out of that. I mean, I guess this guy is the new enemy here. You got me? Yeah, some of these bigger enemies we need a lot more damage for. Check here real quick. Nope. Here's our shop finally, that's good. Oh my god, yeah, there's, there's a lot of risk with this run. I have created a lot of... A run that has a lot of risk associated with it. But, it's a fun one regardless, so I don't mind. I don't know what you're doing. Dude, how has this thing got so much health? Boy. Die. Also, this guy has carved a path that's very hard to hit him on. There you go. There's a bunch more money. Okay, let's just donate as much as we possibly can to this. It'll probably jam very shortly anyways. Okay, we got pretty lucky there. Uh, I'm going to grab this real quick and take a little detour. I will come back. I want to go to my dime room and uh, pop this because I believe it'll take away a bunch of money from us. Okay. Okay, good. Right, let's actually take the things we need to take now. These are all permanent stats. The little ones are just for the floor. Good amount of permanent damage ups. And I'm pretty, pretty sure they're 0.5 every time as well. Regardless of how high your damage gets. And I think trinket-wise, out of all of these, we probably want to take the Jawbreaker because it's luck-based. Okay, is that all of them? I think it is. And then, yeah, this is... This is um, luck based, so I think I'm going to take that, and then we'll take that as well. And I think that puts us in a pretty good spot, you know? Damage wise, we're looking pretty darn good. Shot speed's looking good too. Right, uh, so come back to this, grab that. Then bit flip this. Um, on Penny, use whatever mushroom that is. That doesn't look good to me. I don't know what mushroom that is, but it looks scary. Uh, still don't know where secret room is, apparently, which is kind of strange. That's another annoying thing. Sometimes the teal enemies aren't teal. Like, this guy isn't teal at all. He's, he's just lying.
Good, good. An 81 cent battery. Um, that is quite the cost you're proposing there, my good guy. Did we have a battery in our shop? I don't remember. We did not. We did have a booster pack thing, though, which I should take. Death, Judgment, and Magician. Eh, none of those are really too appealing to me. Right, keep it going. Realistically, I maybe should stick with the, the machine. But I've already, like, changed it over now, so... It depends. Like, maybe... Maybe this is better. <laughs> well, let's, let's stick with this, maybe. Because we're going to be getting a lot of money here. And the, the, the other thing just isn't working for us, really. Whereas this we can use anywhere. Oh, hello, Gigabomb Thrower. Didn't expect that, I'll be honest. Good, good. Hop on through. Take that. I just wanted the health there. Down to the next floor. Double our money. This is a pretty interesting setup. It really is. Oh, hello. <laughs> Chubb's head. This is a bit strange. Yeah, that was a bit odd, but there you go. We've also got a ton of these rock thrower trinkets. I don't know what they're doing. They don't seem to be doing much. Tofu is not one we want to take. Um, get black hole every... Every kill 85% chance to get two blue flies. The get black hole thing. I'm not sure if that's going to remove our current active. I really hope it doesn't. It didn't. Good. No! No! I might have just ruined this run. Does anyone remember what the deleted effect for that item did? It was like some sort of poison mushroom on Penny Pickup, right? I just accidentally took it because the bomb pushed me into it. I didn't realize it was at the top left. Oh, that was... That was a hilariously large fail. Okay, so... I do a little gulping sound effect. It doesn't change anything with me. It does some stuff to enemies, though. Not quite sure what. But the 85% the chance on kill to get two blue flies just sounded too good. That's 2020. I'll definitely just take that as it is. Damn it, though. We've lost all of our stats. But, like I said, the blue flies can hopefully carry us. That's not how I meant for that to go at all. Not at all. Hopefully the blue flies will help us with the random enemy spawn as well. Whatever it ends up being. Rotten Penny has been unlocked, lovely. It's always nice when you get a few extra unlocks here and there. On Golden Heart Egg. That's good. On Hit, use whatever that is. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. Really? Just another scratcher? Just another scratcher? Just another scratcher? What the fuck's going on? Oh my god, what's happening? That was confusing. I just kept getting the same thing over and over again. Okay, this guy is like a copy of me, but only has one health. Seems kind of crazy. Sadly, it doesn't fire two black holes, so I was kind of hoping it would, but there you go. Ghost, baby. Oh, Lord. Um, We might be dead here. There's a very good chance we're dead here. So, upon the upon death effect... Yeah, that... Well, that triggered... Um, that triggered upon my clone dying. I, I did not expect that. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certainly dead here, aren't I?
What's going on with my heart right now? I'm surprised I'm only getting hit as much as I am, I'll be honest. What the fuck's going on? Don't brimstone me. It's not very fair, is it? Can you hit the other enemies, please? What the fuck is happening here? Am I able to die? I don't seem to be dying, and I'm not quite sure why. Anyways, we're going to be here a while. I don't think I can die. I don't think I can die. Okay. I just want to move out of this corner, please. Stop pushing me! Stop pushing the bombs! I need to bomb myself out of this room! I'm trying so fucking hard right now. I have taken damage finally. Let me out that door. What in the fucking shit was that? <laughs> okay, so I might be invincible now? Apparently I have some sort of on-hit effect that gives me a morbid heart. And that seems to be triggering some weird stuff. Well, that was lucky. Don't quite know how I got away with that one. I mean, this is just a funny one. We'll take this. God diggity damn. Okay, you are very quickly dead. Good. That's pretty good too. We'll take that. Okay, teeth, whatever it's called, do your thing. Someone did tell me how to pronounce it, but I forgot. Come on. It's supposed to take us to an angel deal. Doing a very bad job of it so far. Wow. This item is horrendous. That item is utter horseshit. I will never pick that thing up ever again. It's supposed to be like a 3% chance per consumable lost to send you to an angel deal. I fail to believe that I went through that many consumables on a 3% chance and didn't get an angel deal. I fail to believe it. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I like the way that because we got all these burn heart trinkets, we actually get like eight burn hearts and go into the next floor. But that could cause problems because that could overwrite our invincible hearts. I don't know how that's going to work, I'll be honest. I don't know how any of this is going to work. Hive mine was a good choice. We're all out of keys now. It took everything from us. I knew it was going to take everything from us, but I like... For some reason, I didn't expect it to not even... Because it's supposed to stop when you get an angel deal. And I thought we'd get an angel deal by about 40 or 50 coins lost. Or bombs lost, rather than zero ever. Bit upsetting. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rooms like this can go suck a dick. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Screw you, I don't understand. This room's not over yet? How? Good. That was frustrating. Right. Hello, mother. The 
flies do a good job. Give me all those dimes. Um, does Monstrance scale off of your damage? I don't know. I'm going to take Monstrance anyways. Right. Nope, I want my Golden Jawbreaker. It's doing a very good job right now. Right, let's see. Will this work this time? Will this take us to an angel deal? Instantly this time. Instantly. At this point, I think taking deleted items, I'm pretty much done on. <laughs> I think I've got a wacky enough run as it is. And now we just curse and do Mega Satan if we can. If we can, I don't even know if we can. Yeah, I'll be honest, I have no idea whether we can or not. But yeah, that time it did it instantly. It took us straight to the Angel Deal. All the times it's been screwing us over quite something rotten. Yeah, look, it's just filled... When I get hit, it just fills everything with Morbid Hearts. It's kind of crazy. Can we do Hush yet? We can't, can we? We're, still, we're, on, we're on our, like, seventh mother kill now, I think. This, is, this will be our eight. I mean, I guess I'll take the Wiggly Boy. Why not? Look how many teeth we're firing. At six luck, it's pretty pretty likely we're going to fire off a, a tier at this point. I keep getting scared when we take damage, and then I instantly realize again, oh yeah, we can't take damage. God damn, the deleted is fun. The, the, the only problem with the deleted is how the fuck do I even thumbnail this? How? It just, it's gonna be difficult. It really is gonna be difficult. Don't worry about the rogue damage we take. It's not actual damage. It's a fake. It's an imposter. Just like that little dude looking there is. He looks like an imposter. Okay. Loki's horns. Nice one. That's just for defeating Loki, I see. Next floor, right. Get that mum's heart kill. And we'll see what we can do from there. Oh god, it's happening again. Looks like we're getting unlucky again. Oh no, there you go. We got the angel deal. Hmm. What the hell? Who are you? Who the hell's that? Now, I don't know. Do we want to go up there? I, I think we want to go for a mum's heart kill more than anything. Oh, you bastard. I accidentally just took the fucking leech. Goodbye, my teethy teeth shots. You will be sorely missed. We are going to be doing significantly less damage now. That was a big error on my behalf. Luckily, um, the damage from our flies is still going to be 20. It's not based on our jawbreaker at all, so that damage is still going to be very, very high. But our tier damage is going to be less. Right, we're just pushing through. Yeah, I, I, although I, I want to go to the cathedral and do some stuff up there. We are really on the grind for the Mum's Heart kills right now, so we can unlock the alt path and stuff. And so, taking the Cathedral and not getting a Mum's Heart kill is just not the greatest idea for us right now. Makes way more sense to go for the Heart kill. Right. Where that boss at? 
I I'm glad this random enemy thing hasn't been such a big problem. I really thought the random enemy spawning in each room was going to be a really big issue. But it's not been really, has it? Yeah, now we're just running into things because we can. I was like, you start with way less health then and realize that's literally what the um, the tick does. It's the entire point of it. We did get the angel deal as well. Nice. Okay, I'm glad that I held out there. I'm glad that I held out. A quarter. Kill them eight times. Good, good, good. Oh, I didn't realise there'd be enemies in here, because the, 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 the thing taking all of our stuff there. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Why not? I have to kill you again? Why? What if I spawn in here without a bomb? Oh, wait. There's just a regular enemy in here. That's why. I see. Right. Again. Oh, God. We're turning enemies into these holy... Ghosts from the crucifix thing, the item that we just picked up pretty rapidly here. Yeah, I just love the fact that anything with a boss bar gives us dimes now, so we just get dimes for like boss segments and everything. Got a good amount of donations out of it, which may, some of you may think is cheating our donation machine a little bit, but honestly, this character is a legitimate character within our roster. If we can take advantage of him to do stuff, I would say that that is completely within the bounds of our freedom to do so. Some of you may disagree. I do not. Okay, it looks like we're on the right path here, but you never really know. Yeah, there you go. You say, could be going to this mini boss. Don't worry about his damage. It's all nonsense, anyways. Black Lantern has appeared. Hey, we've got the Mitre as well. Nice. Extra soul hearts that we definitely need. <laughs> oh, there's just fucking bombs in every room, pretty much. Every other room, at least. Oh, either that or there's dimes. Dimes and bombs scatter everywhere. Stop protecting him. Just need your protection. I've got to say, I never really mentioned it when I downloaded it, but I really like the heart resprite that we use. Wait until the colours come back. There you go. Still got all of the banger music on this floor, always. Can you just fucking die, please? Thank you. That was taking forever. I'm not even sure what the crucifixing thing actually does to enemies. Like, I'm guessing that little aura around them deals damage to other enemies or something, but I'm not entirely sure. Right. You are going to be fairly easy for us, I think. You even got troll bombed there. Lovely. Oh, did you see that bomb throw then? I placed a bomb just hoping it hit him, and it did. Yes. And there you go. Beautiful. No void, unfortunately, but that is our first kill on um, Isaac in the safe file. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.